Welcome to our eighth grade graduation recognition ceremony. And thank you for being here. Although COVID-19 certainly changed many things through the world and for us, we are grateful for the opportunity to gather tonight and celebrate. We come with vision to face a future unafraid, remembering our steadfast, faithful God. We come in single heartnesses, knowing well that we only in our saving, loving God, we can find peace. We come with courage and wisdom to embrace our future with confidence and knowledge, knowing that together we can spread the good news. We come with memories of all the good times, the sad times, the moments of growth, the laughs, the challenges, and all the success. We come to say goodbye to our middle school experience, our teachers, and principal. But most importantly, we come to pray for God to bless us on our way. Please stand and join in our gathering song, Go Out in the World. Re words for the refrain can be found in your program. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, we enter your presence with grateful hearts. Only you know the path that has brought each of these young people here and where they are to follow. We thank you for directing their steps and leading them on this journey in their education. We are so thankful for all the blessings that you have given us. Here in this room, we see your love all around us. We see parents, siblings, friends, teachers, all the people who have cared for us and encouraged us in this eighth grade class. As these students prepare to enter a new phase in their lives and in their education, we pray that you continue to guide them, bless them, and protect them. Be with each of them, each of these students from the class of 2021 as we celebrate with them and pray for them. We ask your guidance as they go out in the world, confident in your love and courageous in their call to tell everyone the good news. Amen. Please be seated. Remember when you go out into the world to keep your eyes and ears wide open and be kind. Love one another. Take care of each other. Tell the truth. Always do your best. Listen to the big and the little people. Explore new paths and have fun. Know that you are loved like crazy. Give thanks for all your blessings. Above all else, 
love and you will do wonderful things in this world. reading from the second letter of Timothy. I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingly power, proclaim the word. Be persistent, whether it is convenient or inconvenient. Convince, reprimand, encourage through all patience and teaching. For the time will come when people will not tolerate sound doctrine, but following their own, their own desires and unshadowable curiosity will accumulate teachers and will stop listening to the truth and will be diverted to myths. But you be self-possessed in all circumstances, put up with hardship, perform, perform the hard work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. But later, as the eleven were at table, Jesus appeared to them and rebuked them for their unbelief and hardness of heart because they had not believed those who saw him after he had been raised. He said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe in my name. They will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So then, the Lord Jesus, after he had spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. for tonight's petition is tell everyone the good news. May the Holy Spirit always guide us, give us courage to proclaim the good news in all we do, we pray. For the future we face, may we each be guided by the values of our Catholic teachings and turn to prayer at times of indecision, we pray. For our families, May we never take them for granted. May we always know their love and make them proud, we pray. For our 
our parishes and our Catholic schools, may they continue to teach and model faith, becoming examples of God's love and grace. We pray. For all of those who have been part of our education, that they continue to touch the lives of future students. We pray. Jalen Aki. Giovanni Andres Albino Gonzalez. Joel Alexander Alvarez Banales. Nicholas Michael Anderson. Wesley John Off. Owen Akins. Kieran Hernan Valientos. Claire Elizabeth Benz. Harrison Russell Bergstrom. Evelyn E. Blyer. Grace Abigail Borkart. Ezra Patrick Bowman Barnes. Grant Joseph Brazali. Eliana Elizabeth Bren. Jack Jameson Clark. Alice Cole. Gracie Ann Decker. Raziel James Dixon. Jacob R. Duquesne. Carson Emmenecker. Grace Mary Arado. Preston Lawrence Fields. Samuel Finch. Joseph V. Gallucci. Gabriel Broom. Andrew T. Herbst. Amelia Jean Herzog. Anton Monroe Jackson. Elsa Johnson. 
Tristan Daniel King. Severin A. Koss. Sophia Crema. Julian William Keen. Elijah Peter Marasigan Cutney. Alexis Lean. Maria Mardi. Olivia McCarthy Pavic. Olivia Ann McCauley. Riley McClone. Geneva Marie Miller. Addison D. Motor. Anna Lee Catherine Mulchaney. Miles Norville. Grace Mary Ogden. Sean Patrick Orchide. John Murphy Oslin. Jonah Peer. Melissa Marie Piotrowski. Joseph Perillo. Isabel M. Poole. Dawson Radasevich. Jacob Gerard Rechner. Alex James Rice. Lauren Ripley. Nigel Kane Schneider. Catherine Shaney. Alexander Schuckert. McKenna Tesson. Christian Michael Vinkhurst. Emily Marie Vogel. Britton Caroline Voss. Jack William Vosters. Andrew Werner. Meredith Werner. Gregory J. Wheeler III. Students, would you please stand and turn around to face your family and friends?
It is good and right to give thanks to our God, and so it is with joyful hearts and grateful voices that we praise and thank you, Lord. We pray in thanksgiving for friendship. May we always realize the importance of being good friends, strive to be that to one another, and never underestimate the gift of friends that so graciously comes from our God. We pray in thanksgiving for our parents and families, especially for their support and love. May God bless them and give them strength to continue to believe in and support us as we continue our journey. We pray in thanksgiving for our teachers, coaches, and principal, both past and present. All have helped us to grow, develop, and learn. May God continue to bless them with the gift of patience and compassion as they continue shaping the hearts and minds of all their future students. We pray in thanksgiving to God our creator, Jesus our savior, and the Holy Spirit, who gifts us with wisdom, understanding, fortitude, and knowledge. May we continue on our faith journey, having the courage to always live the gospel message. At this time, each member of the St. Mary Catholic Middle School class of 2021 has a gift to, to present to their parents. Moving forward, and how to be the best version of yourself. Can you hear me? Moving forward, and how to be the best version of yourself. Look at what we can accomplish when we work together. We want to thank you for your kindness, grace, and cooperation as our faculty and staff members work to provide a quality learning experience for the students and to support their efforts to learn in so many different ways. We have been amazed by their flexibility, tenacity, creativity. The students have shown as they navigated the new way and different ways of accessing their education. They are resilient and we know that they will come through this difficult time having learned important lessons about themselves as learners and young adults. What to say on a night like tonight? As I was reflecting on eighth grade recognition, I had memories of my own recognition way back when. I remember my dress well, and I remember shopping for my dress with my mom, J.C. Penney's. Um, we purchased a dress. It was white with beautiful little purple flowers. I was thinking of other things and reflecting on this night and we change and grow in so many different stages of life. Moving from middle school to high school being one of those pivotal moments. So the idea came to mind of the advice I would give my eighth grade self. If we adults could go back to our eighth grade recognition night, what would we tell ourselves? I know for some of us it was a very long time ago it might be hard to remember. Parents, I challenge you to think about the advice you would give yourself between eighth grade and high school. 
Do you have a few ideas? Do you have a few ideas? <laughs> have a conversation this summer with your child about the advice you'd give them as they enter this new adventure. And ladies and gentlemen, listen to the advice they have to give you. I asked the same question of your teachers, and this is some of the advice they have for you. Surround yourself with people who challenge you to become a better version of yourself, and friendships rooted in faith are built to last. Be open to trying new things. You'll find new friends, great adventures, and unexpected talents by trying things you weren't sure you'd enjoy. As an eighth grader, I think it is important to find yourself. Try everything. Be friends with everyone. Accept people for who they are. Love your parents unconditionally as they love you unconditionally. Experience life. Work hard. Play harder. Get a job that you enjoy to get yourself the freedom to do things. Take this summer to jump in the pool, go golfing, run, laugh, play. Be yourself and don't worry about what your friends and classmates might think. Your friends may change and that's okay. Surround yourself with those that will lift you up and help you become the best version of yourself before you need, before you need to spread your own wings. You'll want to be prepared also, try to think about whether or not which choices you make will make a difference in 10 years. It helps to put things into perspective. Get involved in a variety of clubs, sports, and activities. Get to know a variety of people. Work hard. Study hard. Be honest and fair and always pray. Relax and enjoy the moment. Do your own work. Remind yourself that making mistakes while studying actually helps you to learn better when learning something new. Don't be afraid to be a leader. Be brave and do what is right, even if it's scary. Study hard, but still take the time for fun and hang out with your friends. Who you are and what you decide to become starts tonight you will be able to decide the kind of adult you will become. Hard work and determination will allow you to become this person. One last bit of advice comes from the many lessons we learned on Tuesday at our retreat. Packing for the journey, don't forget Jesus. We learned how important it is to keep your faith. Faith in yourself and others, faith in your friends, faith in Jesus. In closing, let me give you one last discipleship lesson from St. Teresa of Calcutta. She says, faith in action is service. We try to be holy because we believe. In most modern rooms, you see an electrical light that can be turned on with a switch. But if there is no connection with the main powerhouse, then there will be no light. Faith and prayer is the connection with God. And when that is there, there is service. Go out to the world and not only tell people the good news, but be people of service. At this time, the St. Mary's Catholic Middle School Class of 2021 would like to share with you a special slideshow we created. We hope you enjoy this collection of insights and memories.
are all called to spread the good news with the continued support of our parents, families, friends, teachers, priests, and God, we can indeed go out in the world and do just that. Thank you for being here with us this evening as we celebrate this call and prepare for the next part of our educational journey. Please continue to pray for us and with us so that we have the courage to go out in the world and tell everyone the good news. Students, please stand to receive this blessing. Let us extend our hands toward the students and pray for God's blessings. God our Father made you as children by water and the Spirit. May God the Father bless you, watch over you, and strengthen you with his love. Amen. Jesus Christ has redeemed you and given you lasting freedom. Now you are asked to go forth to live in the light of Christ and to let your light shine for all to see. May Jesus bless you and give you courage in professing your faith and living in his light. Amen. The Holy Spirit enlighten the minds of the disciples and set their hearts on fire with love. May the Holy Spirit bless you and set your hearts on fire with his love. Amen. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now, go in peace into the world and tell everyone the good news. concludes our evening. Thank you for joining us. It feels good to be back as a community, being able to celebrate, um, especially our faith. And oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> um, who would have thought we'd be in school for 180 days together? But it's by the miracle of your teachers sitting back there that we could do this. Boys and girls and all God's children said, Amen. thank you for joining us.